Over the past three decades, P. Diddy has been alleged of doing some terrible, terrible things. He's been getting hit with lawsuits left, right, up, and down. He has more lawsuits than his freaking music awards. And if you watch my previous video that I made yesterday, I went through some of the terrible things that he has been alleged that he has been, that he's been doing. And his response to all of these were, let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things I'm being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. And like I said in the last video, the meaning of this post is he is going to hide the truth no matter what. He is going to put it under a rock. He is going to put the truth in, inside a fucking trash pack put a rock inside and throw it at the ocean so no one can find it. He did, he started doing this horrible stuff over three decades ago and he kept on getting away with it. And the second bro got the key of the city, he thought he's invincible. He thought he can, he's going to keep on getting away with it. But he didn't know that all it takes is a desperate man looking to make some money. So he sells the 4080p video of Diddy beating the hell out of Cassie. RKOing her, fucking John Cenoing her, throwing things at her, grabbing her by her hair, and doing much more terrible stuff. Now, I mentioned in the last video as well, when the video came up on the internet, the hotel video appears to show Sean Diddy comes beating ex Cassie in 2016 after he denied all the allegations and said they all want me for my money. They just want to get a quick cash grab. He was prepared for anything because he's been doing this for so long and he's never been caught this not only surprised the internet but surprised diddy himself for obvious reasons i cannot show you this video last in the last video when i showed you the like half of the video even though i blurred most of it not only i got an age restricted i also got demonetized it doesn't matter if you haven't watched the video because it's all over the internet i'm sure it's very extremely easy to find now cnn yesterday reached out to him and you know asked for a comment but like i said that p diddy and his lawyers are panicking inside the freaking in his in his mansion and they're like calm down guys calm down we are going to uh, get through this i know we have gone through like you know seven eight hundred of these cases but no one has uh, got any proof but this time they got proof we will get through it stay strong believe in us believe in the bad boy production he hasn't responded to any news because he has been sitting with his team and i hope he really got the contact of uh the new Logan Post team because they're amazing. But just a few hours ago, P. Diddy dropped this YouTube apology video. And after watching the apology video, I want to say the team did a terrible job. The whole apology video was fucking terrible. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. I want to start off by saying his first mistake was his opening line for his YouTuber apology that he's making right now. He should have gone with... I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I do not expect to be forgiven. That's the opening line for every apology video, but hey, I mean, he's obviously not an expert because this is the first time he's making an apology video after three decades after he's being caught. So it's his first time. We're going to let it slide. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. No, please don't take full responsibility off of your actions. Bro, it's very obvious he's like reading a script, either through a paper or he's reading the script through his phone. If he would have came out and said, that wasn't me, that was an AI generated video or that was my doppelganger, it, it would have been much better than what he's saying right now. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. Well, if this is true, what about the other things that you have been alleged of? Uh, things in 1991, things in 1993 where you were doing things to the 16-year-olds, the 17-year-olds. Is he going to talk about those two or no? This is just it. This is the only evidence. Whenever an evidence comes his way, that is the only thing he's going to talk about because... Anything else, he's still going to say, I didn't do, but only this one, I did it because I got caught. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I will guarantee you that he definitely did not go to therapy. He did not go to any to see anyone to get better with this issue. He's been doing it this for three decades. Every single thing he's been alleged in a lawsuit that he did, 
even though 50% of the people believe that 50% didn't and they were defending him, now 110% people believe the thing that he has done. Because imagine if he did this in public, what were the things he did to Cassie or to the other girls in private? If he finds this disgusting, I want to see how is he, what is his response going to be about the things that he did to that 16 year old back in 1991? I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. Now, I know I'm being a little bit of harsh here towards him, but if you have read the allegation that he has been going through, you know, the things that people claim that he did, you would you would be as harsh as me. He says he's trying to be a better man every single day. What a fucking ball of bullshit. And he says he's trying to be a better person each, what is it, each time that he he does a thing and he goes to god and he apologizes and what two days later he does the same thing it doesn't really work that way my friend i'm not asking for forgiveness i'm truly sorry honestly this last bit was so believable and dramatic the way he swinged his head on showing how sorry he is and i believe it was very genuine of him and he would have definitely come out and told the truth later on when he was 70 or 80 years old because he was so disgusted with himself after doing these things he couldn't keep it in him anymore it's been like 30 something years i'm sure it's eating him alive but he would have told us in 30 more years if we would have just waited now this was his only move he had left because he got caught right-handed there was nothing else than for him to make a youtube apology video compared to logan paul and this guy logan paul's apology video back in 2016 it's golden even travis scott's apology video it was better than this he should have played with his words a little bit better. He's definitely seeing the backlash that he's getting. And he definitely needs to rethink to hire some other team to script his um, future apology videos that he's, been going, he's going to be making. Because there's a lot of new evidence are coming to light. Now, we talked in the last video that was going to happen. I said there's a 50-50 chance that he's going to jail. People are coming out and saying the reason he's not in jail and he will never be in jail is because he's a CIA and an FBI asset. I don't know what value he brings. Does he like becomes a, a bait for other predators out there? The other the terrible, evil people out there and the FBI and CIA, they bait him and he snitches on them and he just brings people to justice. But there is nothing to prove that he actually works and these uh, things that people are saying on the internet is true. Los Angeles County District Attorney Office issued a statement on Friday about the video saying, we are aware of the video that has been circulating online allegedly this... this what do you mean allegedly? It is Pete Diddy RKOing Cassie. Assaulting a young woman in Los Angeles. We find the image extremely disturbing and difficult to watch. They also say that if this happened in 2016, unfortunately, we would be unable to charge the conduct that have occurred beyond the timeline where the crime of assault can be prosecuted. As of today, the law enforcement has not presented a case related to the attack in the video against P. Diddy. We can exchange and encourage anyone that has been a victim or witness of the crime deported to law enforcement or reach to our offices to, for support from the Bureau of Victim Services. So they basically said there's nothing they can do about this. This has been like eight years ago. There's an expiry date apparently to these kind of cases. I don't understand why. Even last year when Casey put a lawsuit against P. Diddy accusing him of all these things, the lawyer was like, oh, well, it's you don't have any proof. Okay, take care. Bye. And uh, it was settled within a day. P. Diddy paid like a disclosed amount of money to Cassie to keep her mouth shut. And now seeing that the proof have come to light, the judge is like, oh, well, that case is closed now. There's nothing we can do about it now. If you would have showed this like last year, maybe there was something we could do about it. But hey, it's too late now. I think things shouldn't have been this way. For example, what if a person unalive someone and then eight years later they found out that this person unalived him they would be like oh well it, it's too late well you got away with it you 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 got lucky bro you got lucky you know what i mean it doesn't make sense he should still be charged with this but unfortunately they're not going to do anything about it maybe in the f coming future if cases pile up together more evidence come to light people get that smell of money and sell it to cnn cnn just throwing cash at people and just getting the media to expose diddy more and more maybe in the future there will be 
cases towards them. I feel like if the proof comes out against what Didi did to the, that 16 and 17 year old with, you know, recording the doing a gang grape on that person, there's a high possibility that they'll be like, even though it was what, three decades ago, we're still going to charge you. He should be charged with all these things that he did. There's no fucking expiry date to a crime. This by far has been one of the worst apology videos I've seen. He definitely could have done better. He definitely could have spent more time in his castle, but the time was limited and it was for his first time. I understand. So yeah, that was it for his response. I look forward to whatever comes next. Anything comes up, I'll keep you updated. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about his apology and about this whole case. Well, until next time, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.